The James Cameron 4K releases are coming thick and fast. We had Aliens and the Abyss earlier on this year, and now it's time for the original Terminator. 4K Steelbook just been released. Got my copy from Zavi. Let's take a look. There's the J card. And screenshot that. So it's pretty um very flimsy stock. Like it barely feels like card, it you know, feels like paper. Like that's high quality print, but very, very flimsy. And the seal book itself. Oh, we've got a BBFC sticker on. So it seems that um Terminator I'm sure used to be an 18, but at some point it's been reclassified as a 15. There we go. Let's go full screen. There's the front. So there's no embossing. Um, and it doesn't look like there's any spot glossing. Maybe on the Terminator. It's hard to tell. Like the actual... I don't think there is. I think it's just a bit of a, an overall high gloss finish. And there's the back. That's a pretty cool shot. I like that. I would have made that maybe bigger. Like, this seems like a lot of negative space for some reason. And then the blurb at the bottom. Again, if you've got the J-card, do you need this at the bottom? And on the inside. So the 4K disc has some basic artwork on it. The Blu-ray disc does not. And there's the inside shot. Um, can't say I'm a huge fan of the design of the inside artwork here. Um, like it feels like a, I don't know, like a cut and paste Photoshop job. Yeah, there we go. So I'm a. I'm not going to go into the, the, the 4K quality of, of this disc. Um, it's not something I do too much of, to be honest. There's guys who have got better channels who focus on that. If I see a, a good video like that, I'll link to that in the comments below. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look at the other Steelbook release for the Terminator for comparison. So this is the standard Blu-ray, at least in the UK, release of the Terminator. You've got embossed title there on the front and then that artwork on the back. Um, I think I prefer the front artwork of this and then I would have taken the back artwork of this but made that bigger so the steelbook looks like this. This on the front and this on the back but you know with a bigger a bigger Arnie. You can never have too much, Arnie. But yeah, that's uh, for comparison. And then on the inside, you've got that shot from the movie. So that's what the original Steelbook looks like compared to the new 4K one. And there we have it. Right, let's throw it on the shelf and take a closer look. K Terminator Steelbook. Um, it's available now. I think it's sold out most places. It's definitely um, it's sold out on Zavi. If I just have a look here, Doo -doo. yeah, sold out on Zavi. Um, not sure if you can pick it up if it's still in stock in HMV or Amazon or whatnot. Looking forward to checking out this movie in 4K. I'm a huge, huge Terminator fan. Uh, ironically, I was on a live stream last night with Gareth at Video Tasties. It was supposed to be an Anchorman um, movie watch along, but it kind of devolved into a Terminator discussion and a Terminator ranking. Um, 
on that note, Terminator rankings for me, I would go 2, 1, Salvation, Dark Fate, Genesis, and then Terminator 3 at the bottom. Yeah. That might be a bit controversial in the middle there. I don't think anyone would argue that 1 and 2 are the top two. For me, it's two and then one, but it's very, very close. But yeah, huge fan of the franchise. I've even, one of my tattoos is actually, I don't know if you can focus on that. Yeah. So that was like my fourth or fifth tattoo that I got. A uh, big fan of the franchise, especially the first two movies. Um, yeah, that's the 4K Steelbook for the original Terminator. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.